Ultimate Madness 3 coming. Uh, I wish I could freestyle, but I can't think of nothing. <laughs> Battle Rap, hold it down. We got the crowd, man. Ultimate Madness 3, I know I'm late. I'm on CP time. Call the people time, CBT time. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, man. I'm doing so many other things, man. Eventually, I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing. God dang it. I just remembered there's something else I was supposed to god dang do. Son of a bitch. Damn it. <laughs> I got so many. Eventually, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day you'll see. Um, Working on a Patreon right now. Go to my Patreon. Hold it down. Exclusive content. Um, a story to tell, two, there should be two recently, one, don't trust anybody, one is, a. Uh, what, what did I tell y'all, don't trust anybody, I was about to, somebody stabbed me in the back, did another one was, what was the other one, I don't remember, but go, go check it out, I'll probably post, post it on here, I got reactions of battles, that I eat a block from YouTube or um, I feel like uh, should just be on there. So, patreon.com slash hold it down. But let's get to Ultimate Stream, man. Um, 100K, six figures. Let me hold something, man. Whoever wins, t up, leave T-Top. I'm going to go over the face-off, too. I'm going to intertweet and intertwine it with the predictions. Um... Let me hold something, man. I'll, I'll call it hold it down. Let me hold something, man. Y'all, whoever win. I mean, I can I can DM you some bars. <laughs> and then say I help Ghost Rifle. Um Let's get straight to it. I I I, I don't have all day. T Top Jack Boy. First of all, face off, Jack Boy was being very Jack Boy. Um, meaning just awkward, weird. That's 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 his steez. That's his gimmick in my opinion. To be off center, unpredictable, you don't really know what's going on with him. That's kind of his, you know, his style. Jack Boy wasn't really saying much. T Top, once again, wasn't really saying much either, but when he was, he was funny, he was T Top. Um it didn't really help me decide who I think is gonna win. I still see in my heart of hearts, I feel like Jack Boy is gonna pull up pull out an upset. In my heart of hearts. But I have to go with the short thing. Because even with Jack Boy, I think about T-Top at his best, Jack Boy at his best. With Jack Boy, even my favorite Jack Boy battles, he gives me a round that is like undeniable, that is unbeatable. But then the other two are kind of like, eh. So off that alone, I got to go T-Top beating Jack Boy me. Um... Sticking to the side, official Cortez. It really bothers me the disrespect Cortez is getting, but I understand it. Once again, it goes to Surf, what he said l under a year ago, and what Surf said a decade ago. <laughs> um, Cort Cort to me, Cortez is talented as hell. I mean, that's not even nothing to say. I mean, he's been. He's... The problem with. Cor Let's get to the problem. The problem with Cortez is he's not electrifying. That has been a thing that has been people have been saying about Cortez since day one. He don't create moments, even though I feel like he beat T Top. And if he was clean, he would have beat Rum. I, I truly believe that. And this is coming from Rum, who's in my top five all time. If he was clean, I felt like he would have beat Rum. So it's not like he. I feel like he beat Head Ice for the chain. But it is what it is. Politics. Politics is usual, right? Jay Z. He's a doubt. Um, so it's not like he doesn't beat top performers, because he can. But then again, I think about battles to where he had a torque. He beat torque on the big stage. Once again, it was a surprise battle. It's pissing me off that it should have been promoted. It's a summer madness. Or no, it was known known summer madness. I want to say it was a summer madness, 2017. I want to say it was 2017 summer madness. Yeah, hello, Tara. Yeah, I think it was summer madness. But, um... But I think of core. I think of moments where he had the chance to really do something, like Arsenal. 
mm. he beat daylight, but it's like, mm. it didn't really mean nothing. Like, it just, but you got official who was just so, she's popular. She's, she's, she's a popular battle rapper, personable, funny. She says what the, she's unfiltered. She, she just, everything you want in the battle rapper, outside of battle rap, and then in battle rap, she gives you the gun bars. She can be funny. She doesn't really do personals. Um, but she still, she might talk about a topic or like have a, a haymaker about a topic. She gives you everything you want in battle rap. She gives you everything you want. There's not one thing, presence, delivery. Everything you want in battle rap official does. Cortez doesn't do that. I feel like Cortez is a better rapper than official. But official is the better battle rapper. That's the problem. And I feel like, and if this was maybe even a 3 three thirty, each round, official would be really in trouble. Even though I feel like she's still in trouble. She can't sleep on core. Cool. But with just two minute, two thirty grace, where you just gotta get straight to the point, and you can't. Uh, Cortez is best when he can pay the picture, which I'm gonna get to somebody else. I feel that way too. Official, it, 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 it's, 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 it, this this is advantage official, official, and I got official advancing, and being in core and facing uh, T top. Next we got Yoshi G and drugs. I feel like I'm gonna. Be repeat myself. Hot damn. Drugs. Let me just get straight to the point. I don't feel like making this a 50 minute blog. Drugs is talented for real. He's gotten opportunities. Arsenal. Rum Nitty. Danny Myers. And he has not he has not excelled. He has not taken advantage of the shot he's been given. Nobody has left any of those battles saying, Did you see you gotta see drugs round? You see what drugs did? If you don't have that, you didn't do your objective. Because you know who gets people like what drugs has ha, has had? Geechee. Twerk for the most part. Guys like that, Rum Nitty. They face these guys and people are talking about them. Drugs faces these guys and people don't even talk about the, 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 the battle. That means drugs not doing what he's supposed to do. And I really want to root for drugs. But then you got Yoshi G. Yoshi G, who people thought in the beginning was just a gimmick, some people still do. And to me, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought she was a gimmick as well. But then that Tori Doe battle changed my whole goddamn mind. It changed my mind on her. Because she was spitting in that Tori Doe battle. Spitting. And the problem with Yoshi G is it's hard to angle her. Because she, she takes accountability for everything that she says or does. And she admits that she trolls. It's like a daylight. It's hard to really beat a daylight. Because even when he loses, he wins. And Yoshi's low-key in the same breath. Like, Yoshi's going to be the most talked about person no matter who she's facing. Because she's that, mag she's that, she's that, um, has that it factor. Drugs doesn't have that. And then we get to the actual battle. Yoshi, I feel... It's just going to have more things that's going to resonate or stick or or, 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 or or just be more personable than drugs. Because my problem with drugs is, I think I said this in the Danny Myers battle, we wait for you to get somewhere and then you just like veer off. I'm like, what? I thought you was going to take that exit. Where are we going? And then we finally get somewhere and we're like, this is where you took us? After all this, you drove all this way to take us here? Like, I need drugs, hopefully, with these two-minute rounds, 2.30, two, two thir two he'll get to the point faster. Him getting to the point faster, I think, will help him. But, Yoshi G, I think it just, she's different. She's different. And when you're different, different matters in this type of setting. She's different. So, I got to go, I just think, and plus, I <laughs> She knows how to convey her point, whatever it is. That's going to be important. So based off, I think rapping ability-wise, drugs is better. But in terms of everything else, once again, just like official and Cortez, 
But Yoshi does everything you want. Therefore, I gotta go Yoshi, being in drugs. Next, Nitty Series Jones. <sighs> What's crazy is Series Jones picked the worst time, or even, you know what? This could have been worse of timing for Series Jones, right? Going into a tournament for 100K to have a big angle looming over his head. Here's the crazy part, though. The opponent you're facing, Series Jones, ain't going to really talk about it. You know what he is going to do? He's going to do a bill collector. I know he is. I know Vrum Nitty. I know he's going to do a bill collector and, like, talk around it. Tease like he's going to talk about it. It did not talk about it. But then talk about it, but not really talk about it. And it's, it's going to be fire. I see, here's the difference between, the, between how I feel about the search situation with, with like Yoshi and Casey, then the Sears Jones, because I feel it really feel if Sears Jones was just, just, just would have chilled, laid back. It, it, there would have been no problem. But me personally, if he just would have chilled, let's let everything go. Not really said nothing. It would have been cool. But he had to go and go on Angry Fan and go on 15 minutes and it just made it worse. So, you have your bl yourself to blame for everything that's happened since then. So, in ARP, I'm going to get to him at a later time. I'm not, I don't even feel like talking about it. I'm going to respect the tournament itself. I want to talk about the tournament itself. Um, <sighs> Skill-wise, once again, I'm going to repeat myself today. Rum Nini does everything you want in a battle rap. The only thing he doesn't do is angle. But his gun bars, are, gun bars and punch is so good. To me, he's the best puncher in the history of battle rap. You can you can you get mad at me if you want, but he's the best puncher I've ever seen. Cause he does he doesn't have to do over the head lines. He does simple shit, but it's like what the f how the fuck did you fucking think? Of? Like it just it almost frustrates you. Like how did you think of that? I'm still trying to get over skin shine like Keisha off belly. I'm still trying to get over that. Sam's going to beat me to death. You're right. He died first. I'm still quote that almost every other day. Because like, how the fuck do you not? Does nobody not say that in the history of battle rap? Nobody has said that. And Rum Nitty does that every battle. Sirius Jones, you do the exact opposite. Even though you never clearly lose, except maybe Mike P. You don't have those moments. Sirius Jones don't have no things to where... Yo, did you see that Sirius Jones battle? Nobody ever does that. Because you don't... I think my part of my favorite battle of yours is probably Ill Will. Um, oh, Ill Will. Because you were actually being personable. You actually were talking about things like... If you would stick to that Ill Will format... But even past... I really liked you versus past day. I don't know why people never bring up that battle. Him versus Past Day, he was very... I really like what he did versus Past Day. He even did the whole rock theme and everything. I really like that. Even the DNA, I think the second round, when he started doing the rebuttal, like the car scheme, I thought that was dope. But he doesn't have like that last, real lasting effect that you need, especially in a just environment. Come on, man. Even if I try to give Sears Jones, like, like the best I could do is give him a round, maybe, because he will have some type of angle, probably. But the problem with this, the problem is, will you say it in a way that will relate and be effective? I don't think you can do that, bro. You know, this to you, you're a legend. You're a hip-hop legend. Nobody ever take that away from you. A lot of people try to take away your badges and your stripes. I'm never going to do that. But in terms of today's battle rap, it ain't it. <clears throat> it ain't it. It ain't it. Got to revamp. I think that ill... I really like how, what you did versus Ill Will. If you could find a way to spice that up, maybe. But outside of that, nah, man. Nah. I gotta go rub nitty. Um, Geechee Riggs, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been sleeping on Riggs. I didn't really, like, I, I knew of Riggs. I kept hearing that name. I kept seeing, like, some moments bits and pieces of his battles but I never really like truly sat down to watch Riggs and I just just, just started really studying studying him a couple weeks ago 
Bro, Riggs is a problem. <laughs> Riggs can, once again, Riggs does everything you want in a battle. He can, I don't, I don't know if he really rebuttals, but he can joke. Like, you think he'll do one thing, and then he wind up switching and do something else. He knows how to angle. He knows how to talk that street shit. He knows how to bar. Like, he can do everything. Everything. I saw a battle with him and Clips. Dope. Him versus Squeako. Really damn good. Like, he, I got to, um, I won't upload by the time this is up. So, I'm not going to mention that, but you should see something soon. But, um, like, he just does everything well. Same thing as Geechee. The only difference is Geechee has been doing it at a higher level against higher level opponents. So based off that, based off that, Geechee, this is, I have, even though Rick, I really feel like Rick's could really upset. Like really, 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 really could upset. But I feel like Geechee's style is easy to, to digest, straightforward, but still has great punchlines. It's like Geechee just hard to beat because, like I said, he does everything well at a high level, and it's hard. It's just hard to beat him because you can't really attack him angle wise. You can't try to outbar him. You can't like anything you try to do versus Geechee. He's going to counter it. If you try to just go punches, he's going to angle. If you try to angle, he's going to freestyle and rebuttal the angle. If if you try to no matter what you do, he's going to find a way to counter what you've done. He's going to have haymakers. Like, he's, if you have an effect around, he's going to have counter it with his own haymakers. It's just, Geechee's different, bro. So I got to go Geechee just based off history and in the eye test of what I've seen. Geechee has gone, to get, gone up against almost every great in this game and has not clearly lost. You know, there's some battles I have them clearly losing, but it's still debatable amongst the culture, so it's a debatable. Um, Jerry Russ and Swamp. The eye test, I thought originally I had this very, very much a tie, but the more I think about it, the more I have to give a certain person the edge because I think about the level of competition they've seen. I think about the best version of this person Versus the best version of the other person. I think the best version of Jerry West. I think the best version of Swamp. Probably the best version of Swamp probably is Yana Battle. The best version of Jerry West is probably the Danny Myers Battle. And I linked both those together. And like, even though there's quotables in the Swamp Battle, like everybody quotes Smack, let's get it popping, and all that other Jerry West went up against Danny fucking Myers. On a Mook versus Tavar card, and three arguably three old, but not arguably he three old Danny Myers. Nobody does that. And even with the slip, I don't think Danny Myers just had enough for Jerry West. Jerry West punched that boy head. Jerry West punched Danny Myers head off. And it gives you stuff that you could that you can resonate with. And I think about Swamp. He can punch. He can be comedic. He can do everything you want. But I just think Jerry West has done it more consistently at a higher level. And there's a lot of battles I have. I have him winning, Jerry West, that the culture for some reason don't have him winning. It boggles my mind. But that's what makes Battle Rock great. We don't have to all be one mile of the thought. We don't have to think the same because people don't want to give him the Arsenal battle. and had to be an Arsenal. Um... He had a great fight versus Chilla, great fight versus Rump. Like he's been like he just he's like been this close almost every time. He's been this close. Almost every time. Like he's right there. He's right there. Right there. And I don't think Swamp I think no, I think Swamp could knock Jerry West off and win this battle. But I just think Jerry West is gonna have a little bit more. He's just gonna have a little bit more on wherever that is. Whether it's angling, whether it's punches, whether it's so, whatever it is, Jerry, Jerry West is going to have a little bit more. And I haven't beaten Swamp. Um, next, <laughs> Pr 
prep and swave. The problem with this battle, there, if you don't know, there's a stigma around swave to where he has a lot. Of, he has one of the most three O's in battle rap, like him and K. Sean, or like battling for who has the most bodies in battle rap in terms of beating your opponent to where they never win a round. The best wave is a wave that can create a narrative and angle you and set it up perfectly and then put you down. Right? I love him versus Tark. Set it up perfectly. Executed it perfectly. I love him versus B Dot outside of the third round. I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, and I'm black, and I'm black y'all. Love him versus Tank. Love him versus QP. When he has the uh, the time to really angle somebody and set it up and execute it, that's the most dangerous way. The problem is, first of all, you ha you don't have the mo enough time to do it. You don't have enough time to do it. And you're going up against a prep who, like a Yoshi G in my opinion, he owns up to everything he does. He owns up. I just saw him... Two months ago, do an angry fan interview where he owned up to not being prepared for UFF, UFF, to not doing this, lacking in this, lacking in that. So there's nothing you could really, and there's nothing you could really try to. There's no like clear angle on prep. There's just like so. There's, outside of angling, I can't see Swave going bar for bar with prep because once again, Swave is sometimes, in my opinion, as much as I got respect for him. Too slow to the punch. Like that style just too slow to the punch. Like sometimes just too slow to the punch. And Prep's going to be. <laughs> Prep's going to be rebelling, freestyling, joking, hemming bars. Oh, like the stuff is going to resonate in a quick fashion. I got to go Prep. I got to go Prep here. Um, Last but not least, New Jersey Turk versus KCJ. This is the hardest one to me. Because there's so many goddamn factors in this. Um, the first, number one, the gleaming thing, in my opinion, is will Turk be ready all three rounds? Right? Two, will Turk bring up a certain, a certain angle in the battle and will it be effective? Three, there's a lot of people that feel like KJJ, some of her style is Turkish. So there's a lot of different factors in this. Um, I know a lot of people have Torque winning, and I'm not mad at that. But I keep thinking about Casey J after Women Champion of the Year, not winning Women's Champion of the Year. I keep thinking about that and how I feel, and I'm, I don't know how everybody else feels, but I really feel like she was robbed. And Casey really felt like she was robbed. I watched her caffeine. And she really felt a way about it. And I really feel like Casey got a chip on her shoulder. I don't feel like Twerk got any ch chip on her shoulder. Twerk, I truly feel like Twerk feels like she just got to be Twerk. And he's going to win. Casey J, I feel like she has to like, she, I, I, she knows, she knows, she knows, she knows, she knows. Casey J knows she has to be the best Casey J she's ever been to beat Twerk. Because it's not like a three minute or like 330 round to where you have time to really dress Twerk down and really try to. You got to get straight to it. You got to get straight to it. Like like she did versus Twomp, Swamp. She got to get straight to it. And the problem is, if you're going bar for bar, Twerk. And, the problem with Turk is even if the bar is not that fire, the way he delivers it makes it fire. It's hard to be somebody like that in a short time. The only way Casey J can win this, don't rely on him choking. Don't rely on that. You have to really almost, I feel like, have to sacrifice around. To really try to and kind of do what Holmesy did. Holmesy was able to make his way to the finals by angling. 
very well with punches. You have to really be effective angling and punching. Because my problem with Rum Nitty, which I don't I don't think he's gonna really face any issues until um, I'm gonna tell y'all soon. The problem with um, Rum Nitty, the greatest punch of all time, a great angler can beat Rum Nitty. Or make a debate. That's why there's, there's a reason why Rum Nitty doesn't clear nobody. Or really clear anybody because the, the level of competition he faces, about the, the real top tiers, they're going to angle. The reason why the T-top battle, he didn't clearly win. Even though Rum Nitty was great. The Walmart thing is the, people that, the thing that people remember. So, KCJ, you're going to have to do a Walmart. You're going to have to do something that's going to be edging people's mind about twerk. In my opinion, that's the only way you get out of this. Now, will she, now she have the ability to do it? Absolutely. And does she know that? I know she knows that. Now, will it happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. Like, part of me says... There's no way Torque doesn't win this, right? But then there's part of me like, Casey J, I keep, th I'll keep thinking about the best Casey J, and like, when she's in a bag, she almost sat Swamp down for good. Swamp just now, six months later, is starting to get the respect again. She sat Miss Murph down for good. She knows how to sit people down. Something's telling me to pick Casey J. Something's telling me to pick Casey J, man. Something's telling me to pick Casey J. But the short bet, even, even with two, unfortunately, I know there's gonna be around. There's, there's gonna be around. Casey J is definitely gonna win. But in terms of two other round, two other rounds, I feel like Turk is too. It's too powerful. He's just too powerful. He overpowers his opponents. He's too powerful. Because once again, even with the most simplest things, it's not like a rum nitty. Rum nitty, it's how did you create that? Twerk, it's how did you deliver that? So it just in a in a in in a playback, people are probably gonna have Casey. But in real time, real time, I gotta go twerk. Um thus my picks for the first round. Real quick. So I have this recorded. Um, who did I who did I pick? I want, I'm going to give you who I think the bracket is going to be. Now I know, based off previous experience, my bracket's not going to be right. Nobody thought we was going to see Holmes versus Bell Collector. Nobody thought outside of one person on New Era Podcast. Shout out to them. Thought we was going to get Fonz Fonz versus Jada Nightwing. Nobody thought that. So I know my bracket is not going to be right, but based off knowledge, here's how I think it's going to go. You got what? T top versus official. I got to go official because I think she, she's just going to be more. Once again, T top is funny. He can angle all these different things, but I don't think he's going to go. Even though they're supposed to be NWX, I don't think he's going to go too hard like he would regularly. However, official, I think like her punches is going to be more effective than whatever angle T-Top tries to do. And remember, you only got two minutes, two and a half minutes to try to set up what angle you, you have to do. I think officials are better punching than T-Top, in my opinion. I love officials' punches way more than T-Top. So, I think it's going to be official over T-Top. Yoshi, Rum, as much as... I said a, a great angler or a great angle can beat Rum. <laughs> I don't see how. I don't see how Yoshi. Because Rum is not going to bring up any of that other stuff. So her trying to address anything it isn't really going to be effective. If we're going bar for bar, I got Rum. And Yoshi, I think, definitely could get around. Definitely good, could and probably would get around. But Rum Nitty is just too effective, once again. Same thing for New Jersey Twerk. Even though I feel like Brad could really get New Jersey Twerk the fuck out of there. I really feel, feel like he could. And part of me 
it's about to be, it, part of me might just be like, you know what, I got prep, fuck it. Because prep, prep is different, bro. Prep, prep has been on the big, big cars, the gnomes, and the super fights, and the summer madness. So a lot of people sleep on prep. But, my nigga, um, part of me really wants to say prep. Like, really, like, really right now. Like, part of me really wants to say prep, like, badly. I might fuck up my whole bracket right now. We don't want to get back to that. I'm going to leave that for last. Um, You got Jerry West versus Geechee. Got to go Geechee. Um, because, once again, Geechee does everything well at a high level. Jerry West does everything, but he doesn't do at a at the level that Geechee does. And hasn't faced in the fa the level, the competition that Geechee has faced, it just, not, not, not to say, look at, let's look at Arsenal. Arsenal and uh, Jerry West versus um, Geechee and Arsenal. Look at Chilla versus Jerry West. Then look at Chilla and Geechee. Like, even when he faced the same opponents, it looked, Rum and Jerry West versus Geechee and Rum Nitty. Like it looks different. It's different. So I gotta go I gotta go Geechee. <sighs> Shit. I really wanna say prep. Cause cause prep can do everything that Tori can do. He just doesn't have that projection. He doesn't have that projection like a Tori. But he can do everything. He can do that. He can have haymakers. He can do that. What the fuck? What? He, what? He can freestyle. He can freestyle better than Tork. So it's like... <laughs> in three rounds? Fuck. Fuck, I'm going to go prep. Fuck it. That's not what I had when I when I did my actual bracket that I um, voted in. Fuck it, I'm gonna say prep. I just, I just have a feeling. I, I, I just got a feeling. Um. So then you got uh, official versus rum. The rematch. I got rum, only because once again, official's not a, that much of an angler. And if we're going bar for bar, I just think rum needs a better puncher. So I gotta go rum. Geechee prep. Prep can do everything Geechee does, but once again. You gotta look at level of competition they faced and what they done the level of competition. And Geechee has been here probably half the time that Prep has and has done way more than Prep because of the battles he has and the pat and the impact his battles has has had because of his material. So I gotta go Geechee. So final two, probably, probably almost everybody has this. Geechee versus Rumnity and I'm going back to what I said originally. A great angler can beat a puncher. I gotta go Geechee. Because even though Rum Nitti's gonna do all this phenomenal punches, Geechee can negate that with a rebuttal, negate that with a joke, negate that with an angle. And I just feel like three rounds, even though I feel like Rum Nitti has the tools to, to beat Geechee, and I feel like he could. And I, and I personally probably will have him beating Geechee, but in terms of how it's gonna be judged, I gotta go Geechee. So I have, at the end of the day, put it on record, I have Geechee winning the whole tournament. It's Geechee's tournament to lose. My only concern is him having so many battles back to back. But even we've seen it, even when he has multiple battles, he finds a way not to lose. So, but that's my Ultimate Madness 3 tournament um, predictions. The whole bracket, I know this is going to be completely wrong. I know somebody's going to mess up. My bracket, that's why I set prep over twerk just because I know somebody's going to do something crazy. Somebody's going to upset somebody. I know I know it. Jack, either Jack Boy, Riggs, Case. I know somebody's going to upset this bracket on both sides. Just it depends on who. But um, that being said, I know you're tired of hearing my voice, so <laughs> this is better I hold it down. We got the crown. Let's get to it. A hundred K. Nigga, a hundred K? 
Nigga, I kill you for 100K. Nigga, for 100K, I kill myself. 